our entrance antiphon this morning. Bless, Bless the Lord, Lord O my, my soul, and never, never forget all of his benefits. benefits. It, it is he who forgives all our sins. sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. This wonderful Saturday morning, brothers and sisters, here we are uh, together celebrating the Eucharist. And uh, I wish you were here with me physically, but at least you're here with me virtually. And uh, brothers and sisters, this morning... I invite all of you, wherever you are, watching, listening, to really feel like you can participate in this, this liturgy. Uh, please respond when you're supposed to respond. Uh, stand, sit, kneel when you're supposed to, to help fully participate in this Eucharist. Brothers and sisters, now let us pause and acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O oh Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal Mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know. Let us strive to know the Lord as certain as the dawn is his coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason, I smote them through the prophets, I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. It is mercy I desire, not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. It is mercy that I desire, and not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, into Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with two sacrifices, burnt offerings and holocaust. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise. 
praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke his prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I'm not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, and adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning I, I probably prepared uh, 45 minutes reading the scriptures, praying about the scriptures. I mean, it's the age-old conflict between pride and humility. And uh, I got ready for Mass this morning and said, well, everything that I would prepared, everything that I was thinking about just kind of escaped me. And as Mass began, I was like, I forget what I was going to talk about today. Um, but we do know that we have this, this terrible conflict in every human heart, you know, between the pride and between the humility. We all know, we've heard it time and again, you know, God is calling us to be humble, to be people who, who understand that we can't make it through life on our own, even though, well, that's, that's part of the conflict. Those, like the, the person, the first person, the Pharisee, he thinks he can do it all himself. You know, whereas the tax collector, in humility, realizes that uh, he needs God's help. And I think, really, I could go on and expound on pride and humility a whole lot, but I, I think we, we get the idea. The problem is we, we can't internalize it. You know, we, we understand that we need God in our lives. We understand that, you know, we can't make it through on our own. But yet, you know, we, we just, we struggle with that pride that, that is just always hitting us. It's, you know, as, as in our American culture, you know, as people that are always taught that, you know, if it is to be, it's up to me. Let us... You know, during this Lent, let's, let's, let's try to look at where pride is in our lives. Let's look at how many times uh, that we really relied on God to get us through those tough times, or how many times, it might be at work, it might be at school, it might be right now at home, you know, uh, fighting with our brothers and sisters, or, or our spouses, you know, maybe everybody's getting on each other's nerves. But let us... Uh, let us try to understand where we are in terms of walking humbly with our God. And let us pray that during the rest of this Lenten season, you know, we can maybe tone down our pride a little bit. We can uh, start asking for other people's assistance more, listening more to other people, realizing that, you know, it's not all about me. Today, your job is to find one person you know, to, uh, to encounter, whether it be telephone, internet, email, texting. Uh, if you do have to go out, you know, that maybe it will be in person. 
but uh, to reach out to one person today and uh, in humility, you know, maybe ask them a question about, uh, you know, ask them for advice. Uh, ask them if you can help them. At home, that's a great thing. Uh, for your kids, ask, you know, what can I do, you know, to help? Let us, let us take that humility and, and, and raise it up and take that pride and see if we can kind of temper that down. And for the rest of Lent, then, let's see what we can do. Let's, let's fast from pride. Think we can do that? Amen. Our dear friends were invited to have the humility of the tax collector who recognized that he was a sinner in need of God's mercy. So let us pray this morning that Catholics, as Easter approaches, may seek the forgiveness of God in the sacrament of penance. Lord, have mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are arrogant in their faith may come to that humility of heart in which they recognize their need for God's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may prepare for the judgment of God, not with fear and dread, but with hope and joy since he is our loving Savior and Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray again today for compassion and comfort for those afflicted with the coronavirus, whether it be physical, emotional, or financial. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And that we may take this time of social isol isolation to draw closer to Christ and to grow in appreciation for the Church especially the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for the parishioners of the churches in Des Moines County, for Divine Mercy Parish and St. Mary Parish in Dodgeville, that they may uh, make it through this time of Lent and this time of isolation to uh, come forward as Christians uh, proclaiming God's word in this world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of those prayers which we hold deep in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we trust in your mercy which you lavish on us, and we know that you will hear our prayers and grant them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure, grant, we pray, that in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all, your, all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace. I leave you. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirits. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold, Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. tax collector stood at a distance, beating his breast and saying, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner.
for those of you that are joining in us an act of spiritual communion. My, My Jesus, Jesus, I believe, I believe that, that you are truly present in the, in the most blessed sacrament. sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder. Father's giving me hand signals. Just a reminder that uh, we will be broadcasting Mass live this afternoon at 4.30, and then tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., and also at 10.30 a.m. So please join us. There's a uh, rosary at um, 4 p.m. tonight as well, too, and 7.30 and 10 a.m. tomorrow before Mass. Oh, okay, rosary before Mass. So tune in, tune in, what, a half hour early? Okay. Great. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks be to God. Have a great day, everyone.